G'day again. Um, this we're going back into this box to show you these switches. This top switch controls the fridge. So if I flick it, you should hear the fridge come on. There you go. So that's the compressor starting up. And this bottom one is the lights, the LED lights. So that's already turned on. And I'll give you a little look in the fridge. So that's that's how you open it. Um, <clears throat> right now we've set it on three. Um, in the manual it says about, I think it says four or five is kind of where you set it, but I think we found that that froze our veggies, so we've dropped it down. Um, and in the handbook you'll see like basically how to maintain this. The main thing is like if you leave it going for quite a while, a layer of um, ice will build up on here and this it'll stop this from closing and then the rest of the fridge will get too cold so it says when that ice builds up five mil you should try and do a defrost of the fridge and let it just pull this out and let all it drain down into here that's the main thing with that um, and the lights um, are controlled by switches so this back switch does the um, right here so that's for like your the sleeping area and then there's the second switch which controls all these four here so that's all of them and you know i don't know if you noticed but they're actually a different color to that one right now which is pretty funky and then the front one is just for the for the front cabin area and so we keep our remotes here there's the light remote um, and that controls the color of the light and the dimness so I'll give you an example that's changing it to yellow and then that will dim it that's about it for the lights I may as well just do a little one on the fan while we're here on the electrical so the fan is directly connected to the, um, the safety hub at the back it's not connected to this control panel and it's running right now so I'll just turn it off turn it off and it closes the great thing about this fan is it can run even when it's raining and it it has a adjustable speed and adjustable direction so if it's raining you can open it up and have air sucking into the into the van um, but if it's not raining I would probably open one of the windows and switch the direction so it sucks the air through the bus um, and yeah you'll figure it out that's it <laughs>